Stargard is a city with a long and rich history. It was granted city rights in 1243 and a little over 100 years later it became a member of the Hanseatic League. What was Hansa? The word itself in Old Germanic meant union. The Hanseatic League was therefore a union of cities and merchants whose aim was to gain greater trade privileges and rights, but also to organize common defense. It was the leading economic and military organization in Northern Europe. The last Congress of Members of the Old Hanseatic League took place in the 17th century. By the time it joined the Hanseatic League, Stargard was already a major center of commerce. The inhabitants grew rich thanks to the income from customs, the mill, crafts and the port in Inouistia. Already around year 1300, a system of fortifications began to develop, such as walls or embankments, fragments of which we can still see today. Monastic education was also at a high level, hospitals typical of the late Middle Ages were opened. Outstanding historians, clergy and scientists came from Stargard at that time. The place you see is very special. It is one of two European water gates that can still be seen today. Millgate, Watergate, Harborgate, Coat of Arms Gate. The sheer number of its names emphasize the fact that it is a special monument. In the former Coat of Arms of Stargard, you could see it in all its glory. When we raise our head, we will see that at each of the two gate towers, iron chains hang below the rim of the blanks. Both the former and modern residents of Stargard have probably wondered what they could be used for. There were several stories about them. Some claimed that these chains were attached when Stargard became a member of the Hanseatic League. The number of their links was to be equal to the number of votes that our city had during the deliberations on trading days. Others stated that they were a sign of municipal judicial rights. Different theory was that they were placed there to emphasize that Stargard has the right to close Ina and collect customs duties from foreign sailors. What are the facts? Close at night, the mill gate was invisible in the dark, so to avoid potential accidents and threats from the late sailors, a lantern was attached to the chains to illuminate it and show the way.